as an open space, we engage with individuals, uh, we engage with uh, companies, small companies, uh, as well as uh, research labs uh, that uh, are affiliated to some university. The problem uh, working with universities is the, the protection of the knowledge that, that we create. So the, uh, the model, uh, the current model now uh, for universities is to commercialize uh, their products, which is, which is basically knowledge. Uh, and <clears throat> we're trying now to uh, change these, these rules uh, at uh, McGill to propose uh, them to uh, get involved and participate with us uh, creative co uh, creating comments instead of locking knowledge into a patent to be commercialized uh, later on. And, and that is, it's not so straightforward uh, because people are still trapped in, in, within the, the old uh, paradigm. Uh, mainly the way we approach them is explaining that we're not, we are a different entity, we're not a corporation and, and we're not there to take advantage of the facility and, and the resources they have and then turn around and commercialize that without uh, giving anything back to the university. Um, the advantage for the university <coughs> uh, is that uh, creating uh, commons, uh, professors are able to uh, publish uh, whatever comes out from, from this collaboration. Uh, that's one thing. And the second thing I think that's more beneficial for the local economy, uh, creating commons uh, and distributing it uh, locally, different uh, you know, economical agents within the region to freely uh, use it. I think it uh, leads to a more vibrant and dynamic local economy. If that knowledge would be uh, packaged into pro intellectual property, uh, you cannot guarantee that that stays within the local uh, uh, economy. So most of the times, you know, universities, they invest a lot of resources uh, into research projects uh, and then uh, you see spin-offs that are created from these projects uh, and, and money that are pumped into creating ventures. Uh, and uh, a few years later, you see these small companies uh, moving abroad or, or getting bought by somebody else. And because that knowledge that uh, these companies are created on uh, was uh, protected, then you lose that. Uh, that. That's one thing that you invested in, and, and which is moving out of your of your local community. So by putting it in the comments and, and opening uh, this uh, opening this these new technologies that emerge <coughs> in this uh, within this collaboration, uh, you kind of protect yourself. Uh, you keep your rights to. Uh, use it locally, even if somebody else uh, copies it or, or you know, creates uh, ventures elsewhere. Well, I think the focus is to, to uh, concentrate on, on, on building the local economy and if somebody gets that idea and, and, and uses it somewhere else, uh, you don't really care because that also stays within your community and, and if you do have the know-how and, and if you, if you um, know how to manage that well, you, you can create wealth even with the competition elsewhere. I, I worked in, in, in a corporate environment as, as an R&D uh, engineer uh, and, and I you know, sensed the, the uh, opinion, general opinion of corporate people about academia. You know, they always criticize uh, academic people to um, be too idealistic and, and lose too much time uh, trying to understand rather than uh, produce something meaningful for them. So we see this tension between you know creativity and, and profits. And we believe that Sensorica is, is a place that could integrate that and that could make peace between the creative individual and passionate, uh, passion driven individual and the one that is more market oriented.